cloudy skies, I don't mind. When the clouds look like this, I love it. It was sunny off to the west over toward the mountains, but I was headed east underneath this shelf of cloud. This, in case you didn't know, is the Chinook Arch, and it's one of the absolute best things about southern Alberta. When that big shelf forms, you know that it's going to be warm and windy, but that's all good. It complemented perfectly this crazy November we've been having. A November where the muskrats can come and sit on the edge of the ice and feed to their heart's content. And a mama can snuggle with her babies outside that pile of cattails and muck that they build for a winter home. Nice to be able to have lunch al fresco. The Schnuck, of course, was very welcome, but November's been exceptionally warm and truly quite lovely. I have no complaints about that. But I still welcome a Chinook, because a Chinook brings that sky. And that wind. But that's all part of the package deal. The wind is the warm part of the Chinook. The part that melts the ice and rattles the tall dry grass and sculpts the edges of the Chinook Arch. It pushes the clouds into layers that are dark where they're thickest and bright where they thin out along the edge. And as it moves all that moisture that forms the clouds around, it keeps the areas further to the west clear. So that means that as the afternoon heads on toward evening, the sun can shine underneath that beautiful arch and light up the landscape in the foreground while the big sky up above turns deep and dark and kind of purple and blue. The light gets hard edged and sharp, but that doesn't last very long. Sunset comes pretty early these days and as it does, usually the wind backs off and the sun says good night to another lovely Chinook day. But there will be more days like this here in Chinook country because this is southern Alberta and life is good under the arch. <laughs>